Hello card users, in today's video we will discuss how to build a header and footer in a card website. So let's start. What we want to add as an element is the control element and place it at the very top. Now we have to change the type and set it as header marker. As you can read here, it marks where the header ends. So everything above this uh, header marker will be the global header uh, for each section that we created. So let's make a quick example and add uh, a container at the top of the header and we want this container to be uh, the, the small one for the section title and let's add a text that will s that says here is my awesome header and if I publish this You can see that at the top we have a header and let's say that I click on a section that we created in the previous video you will see that the header is also visible here so uh, let's build a normal header and in order to achieve this we want to change uh, the appearance to none or create a new style that will be header and the first thing what we want to do is to create columns uh, we need we will need four sections one for the logo and three for the buttons that we will create so by that mean we will have to create uh, the four buttons and now uh, let's add an image to the left container so that will be for the logo and create a new style that we will name it logo awesome and let's select any months so I already have downloaded uh, the card logo and let's use this one and we would like to modify the width and the height of this image uh, we don't want the drop shadow so let's remove this and let's switch sides in order to see uh, what we did here I'd say the width the height maybe be around 3 and the width the same so let's see Yep, it's pretty great. Now let's add uh, the buttons to this uh, columns. So we will have to add a button, and maybe for this one, let's switch back to the container and change and delete uh, the two columns that we created because the button element uh, gives us the the feature to add more buttons so having this will be better and another adjustment that I'd like to do here is to change the width of the logo 
to 25 and now let's modify uh, the appearance of the buttons so I would like to be white background with uh, this blue color that we have for the label and the drop shadow be white in order to be invisible so the buttons here will be as our value and that will point to value so let's copy this perfect the second one will be to contact us and let's see what's the scroll point for contact us awesome and the third one will be our work so our work starts here so let's grab the site one and use it for the URL now if I publish we will have a functional header that uh, will be usable across each screen that we created so let's select this one and we can return back to the screen by clicking the buttons in the next video we will polish uh, this header and we will also create a footer thank you